did you last get a haircut? Uh, two weeks ago. Okay. Yeah. Friend. How do you feel like you and your team has been running this, this season so far? Um, me as an individual, I have done some good things. I haven't done everything I want to do, um, but I can't complain because I have a group of girls um, right behind me that are closer than we've ever been before. Um, our spread from one to five at our last rate was 49 seconds, which is something that we have never accomplished before. And not only that, but if something were to happen to somebody in our top five, we have one, two, even three girls who are close enough to the fifth person that could you know, step it up at any moment and do what they need to do. So. Running at home, is that an advantage at all? Um, do you guys go out to Mont Montreux a lot? or? Um, we actually got to go to, out to Montreux this weekend, and it's going to be a gnarly course, but um, after running on it, you get a feel for it, you get a little bit of visualization, and uh, I would definitely call it an advantage. Um, because a lot of other people won't get to see it until the day before, and some of those hills can be a mind wrecker, so. I mean, I've walked the course as a golf course. I don't know the actual course you guys are running on, but is it pretty up and down and one of the more challenging courses you've run on? Yeah, it's definitely one of the more challenging courses I've run on in college, because um, a lot of the courses we run on are flat golf courses that are mainly just there for time, um, and so this is gonna be a real cross country course with some big hills, big uphills, big downhills, um, and a lot of really, really sharp turns, so. Is that something you enjoy, the ups and downs, or is that not? It's something style? I'm learning to love. Um, I mean, because, like I said, I know what the course looks like, so I've been training for it all, all semester. I've been running hills. I've been um, running in soft, high grass all summer to train for it, and so um, I'm ready. The team's ready. It'll be fun. Does the, do you think the elevation is an advantage over a lot of the schools that will be coming here as well? Over about maybe a little under half of them, because some of the schools in the conference are from sea level, um, they're probably going to have a pretty hard time with it. But um, a lot of the other schools are either just below us or just above us or around the same. Um, so for a lot of people, it'll just be, you know, just like where they train. Where do you think the biggest competition will come from? Um, well, we have the number one ranked team in the nation in our conference, New Mexico, and they will be the biggest competition of anybody this entire season anywhere, um, let alone in our conference meet. So. Anything else, Bradley? Is there like a time in specific that you're shooting for? Or On this course, yeah. I am not shooting for time. <laughs> I am just shooting for a, a really good race, um, a solid team race. So. I mean, obviously, you've had a great career here, but what would it mean to, you know, this isn't your last race, but kind of go out on top and, you know, win this race or finish top three or something like that? Um, that would be awesome. It's not going to be easy, but that would be really cool, um, especially at home. I mean, you can't ask for anything better than to perform well in front of uh, local people. It seems like the team's been better this year than, than the last couple. Why do you think you guys have been um, so much better? And I think you even mentioned maybe a little bit closer. I don't know if that means in times or as a unit. Um, yeah, definitely in times. Um, I think we finally just gotten to the point where our three, four, five have figured out that they're tough enough to run um, with Caitlin and I, and um, they've put in a lot of work this summer, a lot of really hard workouts, and you know sometimes it takes a couple years of killing yourself to try to get up there. Um, we've all done it, and so we just it's coming together really well. Anything else? Thanks, Emily. Thank you. Do I just jump in? Go for it. There's not too much glare, is there? Okay. You guys okay? Got to adjust the lights or anything? Um, this is going to be the best conference meet in the country for an individual race. We have six of the top 14 individuals in the country that are in the Mountain West Conference right now, four of the top nine. Envision this being a football game. This would be like half of your Heisman candidates in one football game. It's an unbelievable field. Um, on the individual side, you got the number one ranked individual in the country, a freshman from Boise State, the Alaskan assassin, uh, Ali Ostrander. You got the number one team in the country with New Mexico. Um, you got the number nine team in the country, Boise State, which 
frankly, they got the number nine ranking after this past weekend, even though they didn't run one of their top two athletes. They're probably a top five team in the country with their entire squad. For the running community in the Reno area, for the, the endurance folks, uh, bikers and folks like that, you're not going to see a collegiate competition like this again in distance running, maybe ever. It's just the stars have lined up this year, and the Mountain West Conference is spectacularly good. It's going to be awesome experience. I kind of wish I didn't have a team in it and I could just sit back and spectate because I happen to love watching distance races. And this is going to be a fabulous one. It's going to be um, especially interesting. MK alluded to it. Chris asked about it. This, um, this course, I guess I'll use MK's term, is gnarly. There's going to be people laid out afterwards. Um, there's going to be dead bodies strewn around. I mean, it's, it's really going to be, we saw this at Air Force two years ago when you went up to elevation and had a really hard race. This is, uh, the course at Montro is actually 1,000 feet higher than campus. We're up between 56 and 5,700 feet on this course, and it's going to put some hurt on people. Um, it's especially true, again, as MK related, that um, most of the courses we now know have been getting easier and easier over the years. Uh, it's just this trend in collegiate cross country. This is a throwback course. This will be the toughest course most of these kids run in an entire four-year career collegiately. So it's going to be entertaining. Um, as to our team, we've had the best year we've had in many years. We're very deep. Um, We've been getting closer together in practice rather than farther apart. The last few years, as our talent has gotten deeper into the season, we've tended to spread out and be 90 seconds, one to five. We're actually getting closer, and we've got somebody who's our school record holder running number one. So we've got a ton of depth. We've been ranked sixth all season in the preseason poll, the midseason poll, the pre-championship poll will be out either Friday or Monday of this week. Um, but throw a blanket over three through seven. There's some very good teams in the middle of this conference. We're one of them, and it's going to be a tussle. We'd love to think that this course might be a great equalizer, however, and we'd love to see what would happen when Boise State and New Mexico get on a hilly course rather than a flat course. It'll be entertaining. Charts the course. Is it somebody from the Mountain West comes out and does it, or you did it? <laughs> I designed it. Um, actually, Tina Ruff and I went out there probably a dozen times starting in January, and I was looking for as many hills in the area of the course that they gave me. And so we actually created a loop course, so they're going to actually hit those hills three times each throughout the course of the race. It's a three loop course for the women, four loops for the men. Um, I should give a nod to the men because there's three nationally ranked teams on the men's side too. So for people coming out, this is a short experience in terms of a sporting event. Each race will be, and the men's race will be 25 to 30 minutes long. The women's race will be 20 to 25 minutes long. It's short and sweet. It's intense. There's no timeouts. You just have at it. The gun goes, and um, you watch people lay it out on the line. Set it up with your team particularly in mind, or were you just trying to find the most challenging course possible? I was just trying to find the most challenging course possible. We have not particularly been a good hill team in the past, but we knew since last January that this is what we were going to be running, and so I told them, hills all summer, hills all fall, we're going to be the best hill team we can be. You got to like the fact that you get this right here in your own backyard. It's going to be a blast. It really is. Um, and Montreux is such a spectacular venue. Um, I think the folks who come out to this are, are going to be entertained. It's Nevada Day, so there's a lot of people off work. I know a lot of the high school teams are going to come out because they run their sectional meet or regional meet the very next day. I think we're going to have an unusual amount of spectators for a conference cross-country meet. And because it's all serpentine on two fairways for the most part, 
you can stand on one little knoll and watch 85% of this race. It's completely different than most cross country races. They don't, sh you won't, we're not shooting a gun and they disappear for 20 minutes and you see them for the first minute and the last minute. You're gonna see the whole race unfold. You could probably walk across the two fairways and see athletes four times every lap and there's three and four laps. You're gonna, you're, it's gonna be a fantastic spectator experience. That's really why I laid it out. Because I want the kids getting as many people cheering for them constantly, not disappearing off into some woods, not hearing anything until the last minute. It's really going to be a great experience for the athletes. What two fairways is it mostly going to be? Um, the two practice holes, I think it's one and three. And so we do a lot of serpentine stuff on those two fairways. We then go up across the driving range and up to hole 10 and do, that's about the only flat part of the course, but that's at the top of the big hill. So, um, yeah. When's the last time Nevada hosted a conference championship? And was it at Rancho or where was it? Well, we, we actually hosted it in 2009 in the WAC over in Rancho San Rafael. So, um, this is a completely different venue. You know, we went from scratch. The Montreux folks have been awesome in terms of helping us set this whole thing up and design a course, so I, I feel very indebted to them. What do you like most about what you've seen from your team this year? We went with a mantra right from the beginning, which is um, follow the process, trust your training, trust yourself, trust your teammates. This team has done the best job of just simply going out and executing race plans and doing exactly what I ask them to do in a practice. Fear comes into this a lot because this is a sport. Football, those guys hurt each other. We hurt ourselves. And so you have to make the choice to hurt yourself. And that's a tough thing for people to do at times. And so they've just gone out and hammered. We don't do as many hard practices as a lot of teams. We're six to seven days apart for our hard practices instead of three or four. But when we do a hard practice, they're rocking. They're, they're laying it out. So um, they've been following the process. They believe in themselves. I think we're going to run a good race. Where that place is this, I'll take. Seems like the depth of your team has improved, and that's been part of the reason for the growth. But how important has it been um, to have MK kind of the lead dog to set the standard for them to follow along? Well, MK's a pretty strong personality. You may, she was a little bit laid back up here, but she is, she believes in herself, she believes in the people around her, and she lets people know. And I think, especially with women, that's not necessarily common. And so to have a forceful presence like her, but one of the reasons why we're a lot better than we've been is quite, we have something we haven't had in years. We've got four seniors in our top five. We just have people who have been around the game. They know some of them made mistakes along the way and they've just worked through it and gotten better. And so, I mean, we got a squad that knows what needs to be done. It's nothing like having a veteran squad. That's true in any sport. Have you run against uh, New Mexico and Boise State often this year, or is this like the first time you're going to see that? This will be the first time. No, but I, we, we've watched them run a couple times uh, on flow track. We watched them run at um, Wisconsin this past weekend. Um, there were 20 of the top 30 ranked teams in the country. New Mexico could have, they only scored 32 points. They have a chance to be one of the most dominant teams in the history of our sport in the NCAA. You could have scored their entire top seven and they would have beaten the number two team's top five. They're just an unbelievable presence right now in our sport. I mean, they've been getting all the votes for the number one all the way through the season. They're just phenomenal. And it's gonna be, it's really, it's gonna be an honor to lock horns with them and race them. It really is. We're looking forward to it. Given that you're going up against two exceptional teams, I guess, what will you look at and say this was a success if you guys do what? The same thing that's happened at every race this season. If we execute our race plan and they run good races, I'll take wherever we place. And they should be proud of themselves. Because the hardest thing when you're scared is actually do what you're supposed to do. All sorts of little mind games come into it. 
and people talk themselves out of laying the hurt on themselves when it matters. These folks have started figuring out that they can do it. And I, I'm confident we're going to run a good race. Where that place is, this, I don't know. I don't know. I think this course is going to blow some of the expectations out of the water. It's really going to change the race. For instance, I suspect Boise State is a much better hill running team than New Mexico. They're really good on the track. They haven't run any hill races. They've run flat courses all season. Does that change who they are as a team? I don't know. We'll find out.